Hi, welcome to the three minute fibromyalgia and sleep is there a connection video. I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey, Olympia, Washington. And today I want to discuss a little bit about the connection of fibromyalgia and sleep disturbance. First of all, you have to understand what fibromyalgia is. This is actually a fairly new condition and it's been around. It just hasn't been accepted by physicians because a lot of times they believe that it was all in a patient's head. So, um, it, you know, what believing what's true, uh, you know, from a practitioner standpoint, from the patient actually living it, are two different things. So, uh, fibromyalgia is a widespread pain and stiffness in the muscles and the joints. And one of the things that we look at is is a chronic all day type fatigue and sleep problems. So getting to sleep, staying asleep, and feeling restored in the morning are key things. It can affect usually middle aged women. Uh, it can affect men as well. Um, this acceptance of it, you know, it wasn't. It's fairly recent, uh, uh, ten to twenty years ago, and uh, now it isn't uh, as as downplayed. Yeah, two to six percent of the population can uh, experience something of this nature. Um, and a lot of times what we do is that there is no known cause for it, but it's triggered by conditions such as repetitive stress injuries, or this is what is believed car crash injuries or other forms of trauma. It can even run in the family where like there's a true genetic link, uh, even though it's not a true form of arthritis, People have found, uh, or it has been found that people with arth more, uh, arthritis are more likely to experience uh, fibromyalgia. So sufferers of this kind of condition also feel uh, other types of conditions such as um, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic fatigue, migraines, headaches, arthritis, uh, systemic lupus erythematosus or lupus, major depressive disorders, and, you know, when there's an association, people that have fibromyalgia, about 20% experience de depression or anxiety. And there's a link between the chronic pain as well as the role it plays in, in their lives. So, you know, there's also studies being done to see if there's a connection between sleep apnea and things that can help uh, with fibromyalgia to see if there is a loss of oxygen during that period of time. Uh, so anyways, the, it's important to keep a diary, even right next to your bed, to rule in your sleep, sleep and sleepless nights so you understand a little bit more going on. If you want to know more information, just visit my website at drdavidwarwick.com. These are tips for helping improve the quality of your sleep, improving the quality of your life, and very helpful in managing the fibromyalgia. While it may not be a cure-all, these are things that, you know, when you look at your diet and exercise and all those components and part of your life, it makes it a lot healthier and easier for you to live uh, with as well. So I'm Dr. David Warwick. Visit my website, look under my blog information on my blog page, drdavidwarwick.com. Thank you for watching.